Hey guys, today I am doing the bookcase tag. I was tagged to do this by Kaz over at Cats and Camera and I thought it'd be quite fun to do because I got tagged in it quite frankly. There's no other reason. I got tagged in it and I thought, oh, video edit, okay. So I'm just gonna get straight into the questions because I have a busy day and I don't have time to sit around because as always, I'm filming this on the day it's due to go up. So question one, how many bookcases do you have? I have this one. I have that one and I have that one up there. This one is all of my standalone TBR. There are no books that I've read on here unless I read them years ago and I want to reread them because I have no idea what they are and I just think, hmm, it's as good as new. So sometimes they're on there. Um, I have all of the series shelf that includes series that I've read and haven't read. For example, there are the Harry Potters, the Darren Chans, the Hunger Games, they're all books I've read, but there are also the A Court of Thorn and Roses series, the rest of the Shadowhunter series, the uh, Demon Arter series, the Game of Thrones series, books I've not read, but they're all of my book series. So standalones go here, series go there. We ignore the Raven Boys because I only have the first one, so I'm not classing it as a series. Same with Carry On and Sweet Pea. Same with any of them. If I've only got the first one in the series, it's on this shelf because I'm classing it as a standalone until I decide I want to commit to the series. Uh, so that's my series shelf. This is my standalone shelf. And up there is my James Patterson shelf. And there's a lot of books in that one. Question two. What colour are your bookcases? Well, you can tell this one is white. That one I think is painted grey. I don't know. It's literally just a shelf in my wardrobe. I don't pay that much attention to the colour. And that one is wood colour because that's literally just been made out of wood and not painted in any way. Uh, question three. How do you organise your books on your bookcases? Well, like I said, this is my standalone shelf. That's my series shelf. And that's my James Patterson shelf. So that's the main way I organise them. On my series shelf, I put all of the book series together. So there are no like oh, this book goes here and just shove it anywhere. They're all there. Um, but then really they just kind of put wherever they fit. Uh, originally, this was ordered from like the highest, like heightiest book. And then basically it went downwards. And then I got to the middle shelf, realized all of these books are the same height. So I wanted to organize them a bit differently. So I did it in rainbow colored. You can see the rainbow colors right there. Uh, and then I've got some books, like The Memory of Things, which is right here, and Liza's Story, which is here. They're a little bit bigger, which annoys me a tiny bit, but they do go with the rainbow colour aesthetic, so I'm leaving them there. <sighs> and then these books. I take issue with these books, because I want them to be in the shelf, but I have no room on the shelf. So when I read books, those go in. And there's no specific format to these other than I tend to keep a lot of the dark, so like the blacks and the greys on my top shelf. I tend to keep a lot of the tinier books, you know, like the mass market books and in the nicest way books I don't really want to read that much on my bottom shelf. Plus a lot of Stephen King books because they were originally on my series shelf because there was no room on this one. And then all of the books I really want to read and basically they fit into the colour scheme go on my middle. And that's literally it. And with James Patterson, the series are all together, but really they are just put in wherever they can fit. Question four. Have you got any ornaments, trinkets, uh, etc. on your shelves? Um, no. I do not. I have a London sign on the top of my shelf. And that's literally it. I also have some books on there from a challenge that I started in April. That I've not finished yet. That I do hope to finish this month. I've planned the video to go on this month. So if I don't finish this month, that's gonna be awkward because I'll need to find a new video. And on my other shelf, I have a, a Christmas mug filled with bookmarks. And that's literally it. Just because I have about five bookmarks and I just had nowhere to put them. And I thought, oh, well, there you go. And that's literally it. I don't really do trinkets. I just think they just get in the way. So I don't really like them. Um, question five, what would your dream bookcase be like? My dream bookcase would be like one of them in a really big library. They'd literally like be built in. I want an entire room dedicated to bookcases. So it'd be like built in, literally going all the way around the room. Um, 
and they would have one of them ladders that roll along. Like, that's what I want from my bookcase. I don't really care what they look like. Actually, I want a dark wood. I want a dark wood bookcase. Not black, that's a bit too morbid, but like a, a very dark wood. I love that. And then the ladder that just kind of rolls around. It's my dream. It really is my dream. I'm thinking of that now. Um, question six. Have you read all of the bookcase? Oh, wait. Have you read all of the books on your case? <laughs> read none. Read... How many series are there on there? Give me a moment. I'm going to check. I've just checked. On my series shelf, there are 32 different book series on there. And I have read one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, eight of the 32. I've read none of these apart from maybe one or two of these Linwood Barclay ones. And that's literally it. And then my James Patterson one, I can tell you right now, I've read less than a quarter of all of those books. So no. Uh, question seven. Are your books fiction, non-fiction or mixed? Uh, fiction. I, I, I'm not a fan of non-fiction. I find it quite boring. Like, no offence to anyone that loves non-fiction. It's just not for me. I don't particularly care about people's lives in terms of like autobiographies and things. I don't particularly care about events that happened. I'm just like, okay, if I wanted to learn about it, there's TV for that. And they can get it all in an hour long documentary usually. Uh, so I don't really go for nonfiction. Uh, I do have a few nonfiction just because they're James Patterson books and I'm collecting them all regardless of what they are. So I do have some of them. Uh, and I do have one non-fiction, well, I, I say it's non-fiction, it might be fiction, but I don't class it as fiction. Uh, I have a conspiracy theories book over over there, not on any of my shelves that I just get to every now and again because I find it interesting. And that's literally it. I, don't, I, I, just don't, I don't do non-fiction. If any of these are non-fiction, I can tell you that they are only there because I didn't know they were non-fiction. And that's literally it. Question eight. How many books are on your bookcase? I, I, I don't want to answer this. Actually, no, I'm quite proud of myself. I got rid of quite a few books this year. I currently have, including ebooks. This is important. This is including ebooks. I currently have 372 on my, uh, on my full TBR. I don't know how many are on the cases because I don't know how many ebooks there are. There aren't that many ebooks. I think there's about 60 ebooks. So there's like 310 physical books and then 60 odd ebooks. And I'm not sorry. I don't mind that. I, I would rather have like cases like these full of books I've never read because I'm never going to run out of things to read. Like my friends keep saying, yes, but if you got rid of all of these books, you could then buy books that you want. And I'm like, yes, but I'm cheap. That is the point of me doing this. I never buy books because I get all of these from like charity shops because it costs a lot of money and I don't want to spend all of my money on new books that I'm going to read probably once and then get rid of or never read again or not read for years. So I just backlist so many books because I don't want to spend money on them and I'm fine with that. Look, if there are books I'm desperate to read, I am going to read them. I'll probably just read them before all the ones I don't. These are here as kind of like a fail safe. I'm rambling. I'm going to move on. Uh, Question nine, what genre do you have the most of? Do you really need to ask? I think it's fairly obvious, but I have a lot of thrillers. So I think it's primarily thrillers. Imagine if it wasn't now, how awkward would that be? Uh, I'm gonna go with thrillers, closely followed by YA, because I do have a lot of YA book series. I do have some YA standalones, but I do have a lot of YA series. I think all of my series are primarily YA. Like Fifty Shades, the Lincoln Rhyme series, Game of Thrones, um, and the Free Decline books are not YA, but I think the rest of them are. Like The Unfortunate Events, the Harry Potter, Darren Shan, uh, Nemesis, Numbers, Curse Breakers, Hunger Games, they're all YA, so yeah. 
It's thrillers primarily followed by YA. Uh, number 10. What book is not on your bookcase that you wish was? Ooh, this is, this is snacky. Uh, everyone's talking about the Addie LaRue book, and I really love the idea of that book, so I kind of wish I had that, but it's not out yet, so there's a good chance I will get it when it comes out. Uh, I could go with one of the books from The Shadow Hunters, but I don't have a lot of them. I think the one book that I wish I did have, just because I'm missing one book from the series up to now, because it is extending, I wish I had the Court of Frost and Starlight, is that it? The novella from the Court of Thorn and Roses series, just because I've got the trilogy, and there's a new trilogy coming out soon, and I, there's just this little novella that I want, and when I went to buy it, it wasn't in stock, so I couldn't get it when I was getting the rest of them. So, yeah, I wish I had that one, just because it would then complete the series that I have. Yeah, uh, but there are so many books I want. I have an entire wish list dedicated to it. It's my birthday soon, so any money that I get, I'm going to be like, spend, 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 spend. Probably should be saving for a holiday that I'm going on, but never mind. And question 10, what is your favourite thing about your bookcase? Uh, I think kind of like what I mentioned earlier, it's filled with books. And I know that sounds stupid, but it's filled with so many books. Because I've seen people like not calling Brooke out or anything, but Brooke has a TBR of like 30. And I'm like... Oh, because I read like 15 randomly, like somewhere between 10 and 15 a month. So that would take me like three months maximum to finish. And that means I constantly have to keep buying new books, which, like I said, if you're cheap like me, is not ideal. I have got so many books that I'm never going to run out. And that's what I like. That's what I love about it. The fact that I can wake up randomly one day and be like, you know what? I can pick anything I want, and I love that idea. So yeah, and I, I hope that makes sense. I, I don't love that I've just got loads of books. I love that I've got a load of books to choose from, because there are so many that I've not read. I'm not stuck with, oh, I've got five books. They're all thrillers, and I'm not feeling a thriller right now. If I'm not feeling thrillers, I've got loads of YA. I have a couple of romances. I have got fantasy. I have got a mix because I've got so many. I'm probably going to have one of every damn genre. So that is what I love. I love that I'm not stuck with what I can read because I have so much. The closest I get to being stuck is when I'm mood reading and I can't decide because I have too much choice. That is as close as I get. So that is the end of the tag. And I have a few people to tag. I don't know if they've done it before. I didn't check. Uh, and I don't know if they want to do it. I keep seeing videos where people say, I don't know if people want to be tagged, so I message them and ask them beforehand, and I, was, I, just, I just don't do that. I tag you. If you want to do it, do it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. I'm tagging you regardless. So I'm tagging Kira from Kira Can Read. I'm tagging Cody from The Androgynous Booktuber, and Sophie from Sophie Snell. If you have already done this tag, feel free to just... <laughs> Aha, I've got an idea. If you've done the tag, feel free to nominate someone in the comments to do it for you who has not done it. If you have not done the tag, you cannot do that. If you don't want to do the tag, just don't do the tag. It's fine. And if you want to do the tag, please feel free to say that I tagged you in it. I'm more than happy to give you an honorary tag. So that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go edit this video and get it straight up. I hate leaving things last minute. Uh, but yes, make sure you click the subscribe button. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you comment. Please, please comment because I really, really love it when people comment. It means the world to me. And I just love having discussions with people about things like this. Especially, I want to know what your dream bookcase is going to be like. Tell me that. Because I think of my dream bookcase and I just sit there like, Ooh, for about an hour, just perplexed by it. So tell me what your dream bookcase is going to look like. And until next time, I will see you guys later. It's Saturday, so I will be back Monday. Bye, guys.